Hi creatives, how are you all doing? I hope you're great. So today I have another beautiful tutorial. Okay, this one is a train, a skirt with a train. I don't know. This is so beautiful for me, so lovely. You can add it to your straight skirt, your fish skirt, A-line skirt, anywhere you want to add it. You can actually use the idea or knowledge you're going to gain from this tutorial to do that so if this sounds like what you'll be interested in knowing how it is done then come with me and i will show you every bit of the step i took to make this gorgeous gorgeous teal so right here i have my back pattern already drafted if you want to know how to draft a skirt pattern i will link it up in the description box so that you can look at it here i just marked the midline on that knee line and i'm drawing a vertical line down to the hem of the skirt okay now i am making an angle an angle from the knee line and i'm going to take it down it's not going to touch the line i made earlier i'm giving like two inches space from the line that i drew earlier i mean the vertical line that i drew earlier Watch closely and you will understand everything I'm doing. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is to just go ahead and uh, cut out the tail. If you watch, I joined the paper. That is to get the length of the skirt that I want. That is why I joined it. Here I am cutting out the tail. As you can see, this is what is going to form the tail that we will be making. The gorgeous tail you saw at the beginning of this tutorial. This is how... We are going to get it so i will be describing how you can actually make an a-line or more like fish skirt from this basket this is just a plus on this tutorial because the emphasis is on the tail right so this is a fish skirt watch how i slashed the line and how i am spreading it you can spread it as much as you want but i used like eight inches spread at the hem for this very one okay just spread it as you can see me do on this video now after Fred spreading it i am going ahead to cut it out cut your skirt out and uh, we will move on to the tail tutorial here i have cut it out you can see how the skirt is looking i'll also cut out the lining for the skirt then keep it aside till when we will be needing it here i'm just measuring the extra length i added on the tail yeah the extra length i added on the skirt here i'm going to draw another slash line a slash line on the tail i'm drawing a slash line on the tail and i'm cutting it open this is how you're going to do yours this is just how to make your tail. You can add it to your stray skirt. In this instance, it's actually a free skirt that I'm adding it to. Okay? So this is how to spread yours. You can spread it as wide as you want. Feel free to spread as much as you want or as little as you want. Okay? So that is what I'm doing right here. I have gone ahead to spread it and I'm pinning it down. Watch closely how I'm doing this. You can spread this as wide as you want okay feel free to do what you want to do with the fullness of the strain but i'm just fine with what i have done here now i'm measuring the tail i'm, I'm just adding about 15 inches and i'm connecting it just like so watch how i connected it from the side to the tail point and i'm cutting it out this is just it you can extend your tail as long as you want it but watch the curve how i did the curve i just used my hand to draw the curve the way i want it i've gone ahead to stitch the lining and the fabric together and also stitched my darts for the back skirt the next is to join the tail that we have just constructed to the skirt now i picked one part of the skirt watch closely and starting from the zipper allowance i'm going to stitch this tail down I start for, started from the zipper, uh, the not much of the zipper, where the zipper will be. That's where I started to stitch it. Then I now placed the second side of the basket, just as you can see me do. 
and I'll be stitching the zipper allowance, just leaving the space for the zip. I hope you understand. Here I'm just pinning it down just to hold it in place. If you're comfortable stitching it direct without pinning it, feel free to do that. So I just pin down where the zip is supposed to be. Then I'll be stitching from where the zip will stop down to the knee line. I'm just notching more the where the zipper allowance is. I'll go ahead and stitch that, then I will show you the next step. Now I've stitched it down and uh, you can see I've stitched it down. It's actually a white thread. That's why you cannot see it very well. Now is to place it this way and stitch along the tail. I hope you understand. I've stitched it down and this is how beautiful our outcome is. This is how beautiful. You can make yours to flow. You can add it to a straight skirt. You can just do with it what you like. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on your notification bell. And of course, I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Love you all.